Well, friends, we all know that reading is fundamental and a champion for kids. Reading and literacy is with us today. I am so delighted to have Congressman Dan Kildee joining us. Congressman, thank you for being here. How are you? I'm doing well, Colette. Thanks for having me on. Of course. We're always so glad when you stop by. Congressman, you know, you got nearly one and a half million dollars to keep kids reading. Tell us about the funding and why this is such a priority for you. Well, yes, thanks again. Uh, this is a, a very high priority. We know, for example, that some kids just don't succeed in school and later in life because at an early age, they never really learn to read effectively. And so this project was started with the idea of dealing with that yeah. particular issue. However, as a result of the pandemic, we've seen reading scores uh, lag even further. So we really know uh, what we have to do. We have to lean in to make sure kids have the ability to read and, and be effective in school and later in life. So this one point, almost $1.5 million yes. was part of the community project funding that I submitted to the Appropriations Committee to fund those direct programs in Genesee County to help kids learn to read and to engage their parents wow. in the effort as well. So this is something that's good for the family, but ultimately is going to pay dividends long into the future. I love it because, you know, kids need the support of their families to help them with their literacy and reading. This expanded program is called Genesee Reads. Now it's for all of Genesee County kids. What really is the goal for you? Well, the goal is to make sure that for the next five years, every kid yes. uh, learns to read in a way that's effective. And, you know, in, in some cases, that means getting their own book, yes. going to their library, participating in programs, and actually getting something tangible. So for, uh, for me, the idea was to take what we started a few years ago with Flint Kids Read and expand that, and now the project is Genesee Reads, and it's for the next five years to fully fund the effort to try to bring reading through the libraries and directly to families so that, you know, obviously they overcome whatever learning mm -hmm. loss they may have experienced through the, during the pandemic. And for those kids who maybe have not had this opportunity to expose them to the fun and the joy that comes with learning to read. Yeah, and this has been such a priority for you because you've seen what has happened uh, in the school systems all around the country because of the pandemic. So this is just so important to you. You've been pretty busy. This is just one of 15 local projects that you secured funding for throughout the recent governmental funding bill. Is that right? That's right. Uh, to deal with economic development in Flint, Saginaw, Bay City area, demolition of abandoned structures, training for healthcare workers, and of course, something like this uh, makes a big difference in the life of kids, supporting police agencies. Yeah. Lots of priorities that are the priorities of the community yeah. that I've been able to get these resources to support. And we, you know what, it all, we always say it, it takes a village to raise a kid, and that's what we need to do. Anything else that you'd like to say, Congressman? It's always great to have you here. Anything else? You know, it's just good to be home. Yeah. I have to go back to Washington tomorrow to go to work, but there's no place like being right here in mid-Michigan, and I appreciate the chance to talk to you. Well, we do appreciate you being a champion for all of mid-Michigan. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to stop by and talk with us. Thanks, Colette. Of course, you are so welcome. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.